So I was just perusing the Surface Duo subreddit when I came across this post here from this user. I'm not going to try to read that because I don't actually know how I would pronounce that. I wish we could write with the pen everywhere, they said. And I thought this was interesting because you can write with the pen everywhere, but it's not abundantly clear how you would actually go about doing that. Now, I do also realize that what I'm talking about is not exactly the same as what this Reddit user is referring to. So they're talking about how on the iPad, you can just write in a text field. There's no, nothing pops up to write in. You just write where there's a field and it does it right there. It's really smart and it works really well from the brief little bit of it that I have seen in the last few minutes looking into this. But this is the closest thing we have on Android and it's the closest thing to what we have on Surface Duo. So what I'm going to do in this video very quickly is I'm just going to show you exactly how to enable handwriting detection on your Surface Duo using your Surface Pen or your Slim Pen, whatever stylus you're using. So you can basically just use your handwriting to type anywhere you want on Surface Duo. So obviously on your Surface Duo, the default stock keyboard is Swift Key. And it's got a lot of good stuff going for it. The fact that the keys shift over to make it easier to write on either on either side so if it's on the left it shifts left if it's on the right it's going to go ahead and shift to the right to make that kind of stuff easier if you're in phone mode well it's going to actually be full width so that you can thumb type properly there's a lot of good stuff about swift key however one thing you can't do in swift key is you can't actually do the handwriting stuff which is kind of crazy microsoft why is this not a thing but I digress, it's not. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna have to head on over to the Google Play Store, big shocker there, and you're gonna search for Gboard. This is Google's keyboard. Go ahead and install that, open it, and it's gonna basically ask you to enable it, so forth and so on. So once Gboard is installed and enabled, what you're gonna do then is when you open up your keyboard, down at the bottom right, right above my cursor, there's a little keyboard icon. You're gonna click on that, and it's going to allow you to switch over to Gboard. And of course, my Gboard is customized to look a certain way. Yours is going to look stock, but either way, it's fine. You're going to have Gboard. At that point, you're going to click on the settings wheel there in the middle. You're going to go to languages. Once you've installed your language of choice, maybe you're just going to stay with English QWERTY. Simply select that again and enable handwriting. Hit done. And then now when you go to type, you will now see a little globe icon here next to your space bar. And all you gotta do is click that once and handwriting is now going to be there. And so at that point, let's see here. You can write whatever you wanna write. You can punctuate, you can do all sorts of fun things like that. All in all, it actually does work relatively well. It's super simple to set up, it's free and it's right there. But strangely and unfortunately, a lot of Surface Duo users don't know this is a thing that they can do. You know, they've got their pin, they've got their slim pin, they've got their duo, and they use their pin for things, but they don't realize that they can, in fact, use it for handwriting recognition. And this will work with any text field that you want to use. And again, if you want to switch back out of this, you want to type for a while, just hit your globe and you're going to switch right back on out of that. Guys, hopefully this quick little tutorial was useful to some of you. Stay tuned for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.